What's up, everybody? Welcome to Prattville, Alabama. I'm in the SUV today, but I'm hauling the trailer because my truck is down 64 degrees on this beautiful morning in Prattville, Alabama. Today's video is going to be short. We're not going to hit the road today. I had some complications at the house. My truck wouldn't start in the morning, so I had to go work. I'm, I keep my uh, my appointments. I told my customer I'd come out and do this job for him here in Prattville. And it turns out I had to come in the SUV with the trailer, which I hate hauling the trailer with the SUV because this is kind of like a, for me, for my standards, this is a luxury SUV. And I hate, I hate putting a trailer miles on it, but there's no way around it. We have to work. So we're going to be uh, here in Prattville today working. I figured, let me just give you guys a quick Prattville since we're here today. Uh, Prattville is a uh, very diverse for Alabama standards. Um... Not so much by percentages, but there's people from a lot of those Brazilians here I've heard. There's another Cuban family somewhere in town I've heard from a few people there's Cubans here. I haven't met them yet personally, but somewhere out here there's a Cuban, other than me. I'm not the only Cuban here. Prattville's a really nice city. We're on the northeast side of the city, just to the west of Interstate 65. So if you write Prattville on, on, on Google Maps, you'll see that on the northeast side of the city there's a bunch of developments and this is it right here they have hoas but they're not too picky as long as you keep your junk behind the fence you're usually good um so Prattville is a great community um amazing people out here uh lots of work in prattville you're close to, you're 20 minutes from downtown montgomery but you're not in montgomery and there's only two ways to get back into montgomery that's uh 31 or 65 so it's not like it's connected to the big city it's kind of off to the side so uh you got easy access to 65 i mean a few turns you're on the highway and you're on 65 heading towards uh birmingham and about a little bit over an hour you're in the birmingham area 20 minutes you're in montgomery two and a half hours from atlanta four hours from nashville uh three just under three hours to the florida beaches i mean we were in Pensacola yesterday and it took uh, a GPS Prattville and it was two hours and 45 minutes to the Florida beaches. So, uh, you know, you can go to Navarre Beach. So you can wake up at six in the morning in Prattville and at nine in the, nine in the morning, you're on the Florida beaches enjoying uh, sunshine weather. So I definitely recommend Prattville. It's a place where um, there's, I've seen Asians out here. I've seen uh, Latinos, I've Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. Still haven't met the Cubans, but I've heard there's Cubans here as well. But that's a great community. Um, I mean, don't be afraid of the diversity thing if you're from a different place. Uh, there's people here from all over. Uh, great incomes, uh, great restaurants. I think within the Prattville and Millbrook area, you have about 22 Mexican restaurants alone. You got three Mexican grocery stores. Uh, you got... Um, there's like a Mongolian restaurant in Prattville. There's several Chinese places. I haven't even counted how many Chinese places there are out here, but there's quite a few. Uh, you know, Montgomery's on the other side of the river and Montgomery has, I don't know, countless amounts of uh, Korean businesses. I think uh, there's 13,000 Koreans in this metropolitan area uh, because you have the, the Kia plants there. So. It's an area that does have a little bit of diversity, does have good incomes. The affordability is incredible here in Prattville. So if you uh, are looking for a good community with, you know, family values and stuff like that, it doesn't really get any better than Prattville. It's one of my favorite places in Alabama. And I've been showing you guys the historic town centers a lot. But there's more to Prattville than just the historic town centers. There's a lot of... Uh, you know nice new developments all around the city if you want a little bit more land you can find that in the outskirts as well so i definitely recommend prattville uh, it's a clean place it doesn't look too pretty now we're kind of at the end of winter but in the, in the spring this area is beautiful uh, the city of prattville has a historic center that's amazing beautiful historic center uh, in fact they're still building new houses here i don't know if you guys can you, you, you missed it but they're on the right they're building new houses uh gentleman right there might be hispanic uh definitely looks spanish almost looks uh caribbean latino i'm not really sure but he's definitely uh, 
type of ethnic background. You can just tell they're building new houses here in all directions. The street, if I went to the right, they're building houses. You can see there's a, there's a street paving going on here. These houses, uh, they're building in all directions. Uh, this community is expanding outwards in all directions. So they're still building houses here. Looks like they're washing the road here and preparing it to pave. I mean, these communities are growing in all directions. I think that's asphalt. I can pretty much smell it. Yep, it's asphalt. They're just uh, resurfacing the road here. But uh, there's a lot of growth here in Prattville. Um, we still don't have any uh, Caribbean Latin stuff going on here. The only thing there is about 18 minutes south of here in downtown Montgomery, uh, there's a Jamaican restaurant, which I haven't tried yet, but that's about uh, as much. Uh, this neighborhood, they're just building a lot of these areas. So you can see they're resurfacing the road. Um, I think these houses might all be brand new. Let's see here. Uh, am I gonna make it through here? I don't wanna drive over hot asphalt. Yep, they're resurfacing here. So in some parts of this community, they're still building. Uh, therefore, since they're still building here, uh, last thing I want is to get asphalt on my car. The things that I do for you guys. But as you can see, they're resurfacing. It's still warm, you can smell it. And uh, I mean, it's a great community. The historic town center of Prattville is beautiful. I really hope there's a place I can turn around without having to drive over hot asphalt. Um, I really hope there's a place I can turn around here. The things that I do for YouTube, man. The things that I do for YouTube. Oh, that smells like crap. It's burnt asphalt, go figure. But uh, basically, uh, you know, there's a historic town center here in Prattville, which I've done a lot of videos in. It's a beautiful city. It's growing fast. I think the only area that's growing faster in the Montgomery area is the Pike Road area. But the thing about Pike Road is it's more of a modern type of place. Prattville is kind of more Southern. It feels more Southern, more hometown, you know? Uh, even though it's a big city, it feels hometown here. I mean, it really doesn't feel like a like a city that's that big. It feels like a hometown place. It really does feel hometown. Um, there's a little lake here. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how I can get out of this community. It's massive. But uh, it feels really hometown. It really does feel hometown here. Uh, versus... Uh, versus, uh, like, Pike Road, it feels more suburban this area feels more hometown so it's a great place in alabama with incredible home prices friendly people everybody waves at you out here um crime i haven't really seen too many of a crime concern here in prattville um you know so it's a great area I mean, it could be the right place for you and your family uh, if you want to have a nice suburban life and you have a Publix here in prattville so you're 10 minutes from a Publix in most places in prattville you got Home Depot, Lowe's, Publix, Walmart, two Walmarts actually. There's one here and there's one in Millbrook. Uh, depending where you are, uh, either one could be closer. This community, they're building in all the, it's growing in all directions. There's new stuff. It's growing, you know, in the middle of this situation now where um, a lot of places are struggling, this area of Alabama just keeps growing. So uh, it's a promising place. It's a great place. Um, you know, suburban life at its best and it's a small town. A lot of the local people don't like when they use the word suburban to refer to Prattville. They kind of like to consider themselves like their own little city. They don't like the term Prattville. A lot of the, I've noticed a lot of the people within the metropolitan area, they don't like the term, you know, Montgomery metropolitan area too much. Uh, because these are really, you know, individual small communities functioning independent from the metropolitan area, really. So it's not a very popular term. As you can see, there's some construction going on over that way. It's not a popular term with the locals, but I do use it to refer to this area a lot because it's really part of this Montgomery uh, metropolitan area, but people don't like that term. People really don't like the term suburban when, uh, when referring to, uh, to Prattville. But as you can see in all directions, new homes, and they're still building more. Um, it's a great little area. It's a great place to invest, I think, too. It's not gonna get ridiculously expensive, but uh, you know, there's still a lot of areas to expand into. So I don't think Prattville's going to get ridiculously expensive, but uh, nonetheless, it's still uh, it's still a good place to invest uh, in, in the sense that, you know, you're not going to lose a whole bunch of money. 
I think, in my opinion. I, I, I wouldn't have a problem buying a house here. And uh, if you're into the rental market, it's a great rental market as well. Uh, it seems like uh, the rental market here is incredible too. And uh, you can get a house for a hundred twenty thousand. For a hundred twenty thousand dollars, you can buy a rental property here and rent it out for eight nine hundred thousand a month. I don't know what they go for, but uh, that's a great return on investment. So if you're an investor and you're looking for for some real estate, you know, you can buy yourself a nice house here in Prattville. Buy a few other houses in, in you know. In a, in the older, more established neighborhoods, rent them out, and you're close to your investments. And uh, so it's, it's a great place to invest. Uh, money moves really smoothly here in Alabama. It's a great place to make. It's a great place to. It's a great place to make money. That's for sure. I'm gonna just put my blinkers on here and let this car pass me. Uh, he's behind me. He's not gonna pass me. That's the other thing about Alabama is the courtesy of people here, is that they won't even pass you when you're on the road. You know, like the, the amount of respect and courtesy in Alabama. Or even if you put on your blinkers, people just won't pass you. It's just how much respect they got out here. Um, I know in other places, they'd see a car like this moving slow, and next thing you know, they're trying to pass you no matter what. But uh, I've got a guy in a Mustang behind me, and he's patiently waiting for me to drive through here slowly. So great area, great people, a lot of respect. You know, one of the things, I live in Millbrook, which is right next to Prattville, and one of the things that I thoroughly enjoy about this area is how respectful people are. It's a really respectful area. People here have a lot of respect and decency. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to follow a car out of this community. It's the other way, I guess. I think I'm driving back in this community. So it's massive. As you can see, 12 minutes of me driving around, trying to figure out where we're going. This is all the video you're probably gonna get from me today, guys. I got a lot on my plate. I gotta figure out, um, I'm, I'm thinking about going to a dealership. I hate car payments. It's just, it's something I almost detest it, but I don't think I have a, a choice right now. Uh, it's starting to cost more money to keep up my old truck than it would cost to buy a new one, pretty much. And uh, I don't know if you guys have looked at the market for used trucks right now, but it's starting to cost more. To, you know, they want a truck of 200,000 miles. They want 15, 17, $20,000 for it. So it almost makes sense to go and buy a newer truck uh, in the long run which I don't like car payments. I don't have $40,000, $30,000 to buy a truck right now. But even for $20,000, you're getting a truck that's just as old and with as many miles as the one I got already that's giving me trouble. So uh, it's it's going, it's going it's crazy out there. Money's moving and people are buying real estate like crazy. People predict that the US dollar is gonna depreciate and that's probably a contributing factor in how much money's being put into uh, real estate right now. Everybody's bailing out from their currency and whatever they got going on and they're putting it into real estate so there's a huge boom in real estate right now people are investing in real estate and the south is the region where everybody wants to be the northeast uh even though people tell me it's booming economically uh, people are leaving the northeast people are leaving california new york connecticut ma all those states that are just kind of oversaturated and coming to places like Alabama and Tennessee and South Carolina, North Carolina, places where things are more affordable and the math makes more sense. So if you're thinking about doing that, Prattville is a great place to consider. Uh, one of the best places in Alabama, in my personal opinion. Hey, uh, it's been great, great to drive around. I'm going to let this SUV guide me out of here. I'm going to see where he goes. And based on where he goes, then I'll follow him out of this community because, oh, here's Old Ridge Road. I know that's the way out, I guess. Is it a left or a right? I guess it's a right. Cool. Yep. Uh, massive communities. These things are... Oh, here we go. I know where I'm at now. Cool. These communities are massive. I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of building going on. These things are growing. They're building new stuff. But Prattville is a great place to be. Definitely recommend it. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm going to stop it exactly at 15 minutes just to make it a nice round number. This is your tour for today, Jose. Even though I'm working here today, I'm still remembering my YouTube channel. Don't want to abandon you guys. I know you guys are going to miss me. You're going to miss me. But uh, yeah, lots of movement here in Prattville. Great place to be. I'm going to stop by the car dealership and, and do something that I've been regretting having to do for a while. I could just fix the truck again. Dump truck, he's going to go that way. I could just fix the truck. And there are more affordable places too. There's communities here that are affordable, so you don't have to end up in a $300,000 house. 
even in the 200,000s or even less, you can end up in a nice area here in the, in the, in the, in the Prattville area. So get in before it's too late, y'all.